Did you hear? Japan just landed on the moon. Now I had no idea that they were even planning for this, but let's look at some of the things they've discovered so far. Starting off, we have the landing. Japan became the fifth country in history to reach the moon when one of its spacecrafts without astronauts successfully made a soft landing on the lunar surface early last week. However, space officials said they need more time to analyze whether the smart lander for investigating moon, aka Slim achieved its mission priority of making a pinpoint landing. Slim landed on the moon at about 12:20 a.m. Tokyo time, and there was a tense wait for news after the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency's mission control initially said that Slim was on the lunar surface, but that it was still checking its status. Now, no further details were given until a news conference nearly two hours later. But even now, it's kind of hard to find information about the landing. I mean, what are they hiding from? From us, I need to know. The space officials believe the slim small rovers were launched as planned and that the data was being transmitted back to Earth, said Hitoshi Kaninaka, head of the Institute of Space and Astronautical Science, a unit of Japan's space agency. Now, up next, we have moon rocks. It has been found that the oldest moon rocks are older than the oldest Earth rocks. The oldest moon rock returned to Earth is an anorthosite that was found by the Apollo 16 astronauts. It's it's estimated to be around 4.46 billion years old. Now that is just insane. Now this date corresponds to the formation of a larger lunar impact basin from which the rock was thrown. Other studies indicate that the rock lay exposed on the lunar surface for 8.6 million years after it was moved again by the formation of a nearby crater known as Spook Crater. Again, it is an anorthosite, the rock that makes up the light-colored lunar highlands. Now the oldest rocks found on Earth are about 4.28 billion years old. Now, ancient rocks are rare on Earth because of active geologic forces, including plate tectonics and erosion, recycling and removing the oldest surfaces. But with not that many people on the moon and messing with them, it's easier to find them there than on Earth. Now, it's just crazy to me that these rocks are that Old. Moving on to the weird substance. The discovery was made by a U-2-2 drive team member in July 2019 during Lunar Day 8 of the rover's mission, which was a part of China's Change 4 mission to explore the far side of the moon. They discovered an object in the middle of a small crater that was initially described by Our Space, a Chinese language science outreach channel, which could be translated as gel-like. So yes, there was a gel-like substance found on the moon. Now, Outside scientists suspected the substance was glassy material created by impact that turned out to be correct. In their article, Earth and Planetary Science Letters, Gu Sheng and colleagues analyzed data from U22's panoramic and hazard avoidance cameras and the rover's visible and near infrared spectrometer VNIS instrument. They use a procedure called spectral unmixing to break down the measured spectra from VNIS to determine the likely composition and abundance of the material. Now, the authors describe the material as a dark greenish and glycerin impact melt bacteria measuring 20 inches by 6 inches. Now these features are signs of possible presence of glasses which are usually sourced from impact melts or from volcanic eruptions. Now let's discuss new elements found. The Indian Space Research Organization ISRO has made a landmark discovery on the moon's south pole using its Pragyan moon rover. A bunch of elements including sulfur, iron, calcium, manganese, oxygen, titanium, aluminum, corium, and silicon were identified. Notably, the absence of hydrogen raises questions regarding the presence of water ice in the area, a discovery scientists eagerly anticipate. Now, This achievement by Pragyan represents the first in-situ measurements of these elements at the lunar location. Although the South Pole was previously recognized for its large water ice deposits, this new data reshapes our understanding of it. Now, To identify these elements, the rover employed laser-induced Breakdown Spectroscopy LIBS, a technique that applies intense heat to rocks, converting them to plasma, which is then analyzed. Now we have secret moon layers. A groundbreaking discovery has been found on the moon, as recent research has found evidence of hardened lava layers just 300 feet beneath the moon's dusty and cratered surface, hinting at volcanic activities from a very long time ago. While the findings are yet to be definitively confirmed, the Change 4's 
lunar rover's low-frequency ground-penetrating radar has been instrumental. The rover, under the leadership of astrophysicist Yang King Fen from the Planetary Science Institute of Arizona, has detected differences in subsurface materials. Now, this has led researchers to theorize that the moon experienced lava flows for a billion years longer than previously believed. The densest volcanic material deep below the surface is much wider compared to the shallower volcanic layers, suggesting a gradual reduction of volcanic activity over time. Now, the most extensive layers measured about 230 feet across, whereas the shallow ones span only 5 meters. Now, this tapering off of volcanic activity is indicative of the moon's diminishing internal thermal energy. Now, over time, the eruptions would have become progressively smaller until they ceased entirely. Current data points to three or four significant lava flow events in the von Karman's crater alone. Now, an ongoing investigation holds significant promise, though, as if validated, it may reshape our understanding of the moon's geologic history, hinting at a more dynamic past with lava filled landscapes, opposed to the kind of boring, dusty moon we see today. Now, did you know that there's water on the moon? Scientists say they have discovered water trapped inside tiny beads of glass scattered across the moon, suggesting a potential reservoir of this precious resource for future human activities on the lunar surface. The moon was long believed to be dry, but over the past few decades, several missions have shown that there is water both on the surface and trapped inside minerals. In 2023, scientists said that an analysis of lunar soil samples retrieved in 2020 during China's Robotic Changes 5 mission showed that these spheres of glass, rock melted and cooled, bore within them water molecules formed through the action of the solar wind on the moon's surface. Now, the moon lacks bodies of liquid water, but its surface is thought to harbor a fairly substantial amount of water, for example, in ice patches residing in permanently shadowed locales and trapped in minerals. Researchers see promise in obtaining the water from the glass beads, perhaps through a heating process to release vapor that would then turn into liquid through condensation. Now, about 3.8 pounds of soil were collected in the Changes 5 mission, with 32 glass beads, tens to hundreds of micrometers wide, were examined in the study from the small amount of soil made available for this research. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty cool if you ask me. Our next topic is moon crystals. A rare lunar crystal found on the near side of the moon is giving scientists hope of providing limitless power for the world. Yeah, this sounds like something out of a cartoon, but it's real. The lunar crystal is made of material previously unknown to the scientific community and contains a key ingredient for the nuclear fusion process, a form of power generation that harnesses the same forces that fuel the sun and other stars in the galaxy. The crystal was found in the lunar basalt particles collected from the moon in 2020 and makes China the third country to discover a new lunar material behind the US and the former Soviet Union. The Chinese moon mission landed in December 2020 and was the first lunar sample return mission since the 1970s. Now, lunar samples were collected and delivered safely to Earth, and the crystal itself is transparent and roughly the width of a single human hair. It formed in a region of the moon that was volcanically active around 1.2 billion years ago. Now, one of the primary ingredients found in this crystal is helium-3, which scientists believe may provide a stable fuel source for nuclear fusion reactors. Now, the element is incredibly rare on Earth, but it seems to be fairly prevalent on the moon. China's next mission is expected to be Changes 6 in 2024, which will attempt to collect the first samples from the far side of the moon, which never faces Earth. Now we have the early history of the moon. The moon is ancient and still preserves its early history, aka the first billion years. The extensive record of impact craters on the moon, when calibrated using absolute ages of lunar rock samples, provides a key for unraveling timescales for the geologic evolution of Mercury, Venus, and Mars based on their individual crater records. Remote sensing of other planets or the interpretation of geologic features via images and other data is based in part on lessons learned from the moon. Now, Before Apollo, for example, the origin of lunar impact craters were not fully understood and the origin of similar craters on Earth was highly debated. Next up, the moon is lifeless. The Apollo program was a super important moment in human history. For example, the program was responsible for landing the first human beings on the surface of the moon. However, the Apollo missions contributed much more than putting humans on the moon. It also produced a lot of new scientific data and discoveries, which expanded our knowledge of both the moon itself and our solar system. If you didn't know, the moon is lifeless. 
lifeless. Well, unless there's astronauts on it. It contains no living organisms, fossils, or native organic compounds. Extensive testing revealed no evidence for life, past or present, among lunar samples. Even non-biological organic compounds are amazingly absent, and traces can be attributed to the contamination by meteorites. And last on our list is the origin of the moon. Unlike other recent robotic missions aiming for the moon's south pole, Japan's spacecraft SLIM is targeting a site near a small lunar impact crater called Sholi, with a plane known as the Sea of Nectar that scientists suspect was formed by ancient volcanic activity. There, it will investigate the composition of rocks that may help scientists uncover the origins of the moon. A closer look at such minerals could reveal information about the moon's interior structure and formation. However, sites of the crater ejecta are usually avoided due to the difficulty of landing within a small ejecta strewn area on the slope side surrounding a crater. Now, the SLIM probe has a vision based navigation technology, and the spacecraft will capture photographs of the moon's surface as it approaches and rapidly pinpoint the vehicle's location on maps previously sketched out by lunar satellites, adjusting its trajectory as it swoops in for its landing. Well, that's all for our list of the top 10 mysterious discoveries Japan made on the moon. Now, there are plenty of missions lined up to send humans back to the moon, so who knows what else we could discover. What else do you think could be discovered on the moon? Let us know in the comments down below, and make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. I'm your host Emily, and we'll see you next time. Peace.